What's up guys, Kevin Cage here, hope all is well, be sure to like and sub and let's get right into it. So I want to start the video off talking about Ripple's annual event that I cannot believe is already two weeks away, October 14th and 15th. For any newcomers, Ripple holds an annual event just like Swift holds Cybos, Ripple holds an event called Swell. They have their RippleNet customers, they have speakers, and essentially just talk about how far they've come, what's to come, and basically just a guideline for the upcoming year. So really exciting, specifically all we care about, obviously obviously is XRP in the XRP community and in the past you can see some interesting price history whether it is a pump or dump whether it's a month before two weeks before or even two weeks after the event all I know is that I'm expecting the unexpected let's just say that all right none of this is financial advice I'm not giving price predictions but yes I believe in this asset class and yes I do believe that utility is edging ever closer and what I mean by utility is greater utility we already know XRP is solving real problems for real customers unlike many digital assets and this is just just the beginning for this space. We have regulation on a daily basis. We'll talk a little bit about CBDCs, and I want to talk about the caliber of people that speak at this event. If you want to see an overview and some speakers, swell.ripple.com. Remember in the past, we had even Ben Bernanke, the former federal chairman of the Federal Reserve that led us through the previous financial crisis. So really interesting to consider that. And let's keep going. Remember back in September 2018, I do remember I was literally on a train just looking at my phone going nuts. And in a period of like two to four days, XRP went from, let's see, 27 cents, give or take. And this is on a 23 hour all the way up to a wick of about 76 cents. So essentially 186 percent in a matter of three to four days absolutely crazy i would love nothing more to see some price action in some assets that i'm holding um but again i am expecting the unexpected all right so i wanted to share this anders l sharing this notice brad garlinghouse ceo of ripple we have ben bernanke formerly the federal reserve system remember 2006 to 2014 he attended swell we even had sir tim berners lee inventor of the world wide web makes me think of w3c interledger protocol all connected really just trying to build protocols to win on a level playing field not bullying anybody not convincing anybody to use it simply giving options and letting the best projects and best technology win all right, notice Brad Garlinghouse on stage with the former CEO of Swift. And remember, Swift transacts approximately five to six trillion dollars per day. We have Brad Garlinghouse giggling on stage with what is it um, of the legal department of the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, Ross Leckow. And also Brad Garlinghouse with the Bank of International Settlements. I believe, what was it? Um, SAMA? Was it the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority or was this... Um, a gentleman from China. Regardless, the caliber of people here, you know, speak plenty. Okay, now I want to talk about this. This is shared by Ganesh Hiramath, definite follow if you're in the XRP community, and just showing that there was this new newspaper or leading Indian newspaper, Economic Times, published this today. And this is the National Strategy on Blockchain and Central Bank Digital Currencies, INR. That is India's national currency, the Indo, excuse me, the Indian rupee. I was going to say the Indonesian, uh, Indonesian rupiah, excuse me. So we can kind of speed through this. I want to talk about this. So what is a central bank digital currency? We know the concept of central bank digital currencies, whether it's US dollar, euro, the rupee, it doesn't matter. Going digital is essentially just a step in the right direction. And these national digital currencies have the potential going digital to make the world a small place, to allow it to interoperate better, faster, to work fat, um, just more seamlessly overall. All right. We know various countries like China with their digital currency. We have Lithuania. We have, you know, Bahamas. Everybody's been experimenting on CBDCs. And this is well before Bitcoin, just so you know. OK, they've been working on going digital for decades. And then I know Bitcoin with obviously blockchain is working on this, but this has been in the works for quite some time talking, you know, 2012, 2014, etc. Notice even the survey of 66 central banks, including RBI, conducted by the Bank of International Settlements, the Central Bank of Central Banks, said 80% of central banks claim that they were actively engaged in research, experiments, or development work related to CBDCs, central bank digital currencies. The survey shows that 40% of central banks have progressed from research to experiments, whereas 10% have already developed pilot projects. Notice this was actually in 2018 2019 i wonder how much further this has gone obviously we've been keeping track of all of the countries so do not be surprised we even have bank of england focusing on real-time growth settlement with one of ripple's early on investors and partners accenture who is also involved in the digital dollar project um whether you guys think this is dot connecting or not there sure are a lot of connected dots let's just leave it at that 
All right, right here, CBDC, you can click on this draft if you want to read more. The National Insti Institute for Smart Governance, NISG, a nonprofit company incorporated by the Indian government that provides e-governance consulting services to central and state governments, published this draft. And I just want to speed through this, save your time. And I do know that Ganesh actually shared it. But just so you know, this was from 2019. Obviously, a bunch has happened in just you know, not even a year. I can't even imagine that. But if you want to just control F, we'll go right here. And specifically mentioning, of course, Ripple Labs and R3 Corda, and I love R3, pay attention to them, um, have led these consortia globally and SBI led consortium among Indian banks is exploring its use case actively. So specifically talking about blockchain application in cross border payments today. If you want to pause this, feel free to read it. I did retweet this as well. Cross-border remittance, a big one. Remember, RippleNet, low value, high volume. This is where the friction is essentially there and it's quite obvious. And there, I don't think there's a single player that is doing what Ripple is able to do with its war chest of investments as well. All right. Specifically, if they go public, I saw they have essentially, what, 20 or 27 open positions hiring during a pandemic. They show no signs of stopping. And the same thing for XRP. Why are they, you know, funding? It's not just to sell XRP and dump it on the market. That is so silly. If you look at the actual math and the numbers, you'll understand that. But I know I'm going to see comments in the comment section saying just that. All right. Cross-border remittance, etc. And then also Ganesh highlighted this under cross-border remittance. However, the financial organization serving as the intermediary, the middleman, has to be in tune with the regulatory environment to avoid any legal issues. Interesting. All right. And then also just another mention of Ripple as well as Stellar Internetwork Relationship Driven Consensus Protocols. This is what makes these types of protocols so much more different than Bitcoin. For example, in the previous video, we we showed in a gentleman specifically saying with two hundred million dollars of hardware at that time, they were able to take over the entire Bitcoin network that is not sustainable by any means, specifically when the Fed is capable to print trillions of dollars at will. Food for thought. All right, we'll keep going here. XRP Crypto Wolf wanted to read this tweet. This is from a Spain central bank governor talking about central bank digital currencies. Remember, whether it's digital or not digital, XRP is going to complement these assets and merely be the bridge, period. Regardless of its importance, expanding access to a central bank's balance sheet by making a central bank digital currency available to households, so retail, and non-financial corporations is only one of the many ways in which tech innovation may help enhance the monetary and payment system. Wholeheartedly agree with that sentiment. Also, in other news, so we have Ripple partner ACI Worldwide teams up with MasterCard to create new payments solutions globally. Obviously, whenever MasterCard's involved, I'm watching them. I'm watching what Visa's doing. And to no surprise, um, they've been on a little acquisition spree and spending spree and just overall digitalization spree, just like any of these fintechs and huge behemoths. And just so you newcomers are aware, Accenture or ACI Worldwide, $14 trillion per day. Yes, that is not a made up number. We're right on ACIWorldwide.com. And then you can also see right here, I know everybody has seen this for years now, ACI and Swift. So direct mention of Ripple right here is DLT, Distributed Ledger Technology. ACI supports around 9% of global Swift traffic aka that's a lot and approximately 30 percent in the united states services to banks around the world connect to leverage and swift's gpi initiative aci also supports real-time schemes around the world meaning that any bank can use real-time payment systems to support swift fin gpi dlt eg for example ripple all right, very cool. And of course, Swift obviously is the dominator, the behemoth today. But essentially, they don't have the funding. Their whole ecosystem is so inefficient. We know that, you know, these ISO migrations and standards are trying to work on things. Funny enough, Ripple is the only DLT group that joins that board. I just think the it's painting a pretty evident, clear picture of which players are likely for success. Now, nothing is guaranteed. Am I excited for this ecosystem? Yeah, every freaking day. Do I believe in it? Yes, every freaking day. But I completely get if you do not want to, if you're hesitant, do what's best for you. I'm simply sharing information and giving my opinion. I want you guys to come up with your own opinions, whether you agree or don't, period. So that is fine. All right. And then lastly, I wanted to share this tweet because I love this thinking. So Spring Peeper XRP. So he's talking about Hedera with their currency HBAR, and then Ripple in their currency XRP. And just talking about the cognitive dissonance when we think it should go up and it doesn't. So pay attention to this. I look at Hedera, 
And it's great news, solid progress. They have tons of investors. You know the story. I know King Solomon talks a lot about them as well. Phenomenal project. And yes, he's done an interview with the gentleman over at Hedera as well. And then he looks at HBAR and the current price, and it's not the same story. And I'm starting to see a parallel between Hedera with HBAR as Ripple with XRP. They have amazing use cases, strong technology, tangible progress, huge investors, but not reflected in value yet. And yet is the key word. Why? Because it is largely a speculative based market. And you know what that means? Utility is not really here in full scale yet. You know what that means? Opportunity. Do you know what utility could potentially do to the valuations of these assets? I showed you Ava Labs with Avalanche showing $800 trillion in illiquid assets. They are building not only the infrastructure to do new things, but the infrastructure to bridge that infrastructure. When that comes, the floodgates will open for a variety of assets, and then hopefully the assets that are complete scams and illegitimate disappear entirely, leaving only the best to survive. That is what I want, and I think with proper diversification and proper research, you and me can make an absolute killing in this market. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below, and if you want to give any other examples of great teams like Hedera and Ripple with you know the currencies that they're building on, please let me know, and I'm happy to check into those other assets as well. Have a great rest of your day.